Hi guys, welcome back to episode 23 of the Be For Real podcast. Hi guys. How's everybody? How are we feeling? Feeling good because fall is on the horizon, baby. It is. It's actually feeling like fall now. It's getting crispy. Yeah, the weather just took a sudden turn, dropped off the cliff. Now it's yeah. becoming more crisp. <laughs> yes. It's a little humid though. Yeah, like I definitely find you will get a little hot if you're wearing yes. a jacket. Yes. But then... There might be like a gust of wind where you're like, oh, chilly. Like, <laughs> oh, that was it, chilly. Yeah, very much so back and forth right now. Yeah, it's kind of a nice temperature though. Like I literally went out with pants, a tank top and a cardigan yesterday. And it was like so the- this. B- b- basically. So this outfit. <laughs> he just described what you're wearing. Basically, and it was like the perfect like temperature yeah. for that, you yeah. know? So no jackets just yet, but like little cute fall cardigans. Exactly. Speaking of which, I have no cardigan. Guys, we were just talking about how we hate all of our clothes right now. Yeah. Uh, that's just being a girl. <laughs> End of story. Hate our clothes. No, yeah. every season I go into, I hate my clothes and decide I need new ones. Mm-hmm. Especially for me, the fall clothes is mm-hmm. the hardest mm-hmm. because a lot of what I wear when it's fall is like, I mean, obviously pants, duh. But mm-hmm. it's like, okay, pants, sweaters, crew necks, hoodies, jackets, mm-hmm. right? It's a lot, it's a lot of layering. Yeah. It gets really cold. And those are things that it's like, I don't have a million of everything, you know, like I have one leather jacket, like a denim jacket, got a few pairs of like, it gets so repetitive yeah. because we're wearing the same kind of outfit for seven months straight Yeah, that I get sick of my clothes so fast. All of my crew necks, like if it's a graphic crew neck, it's like you wear it so many times and you're like, I literally can't wear this anymore because yeah. I wear it so much. Yeah. Like I still have all those clothes that I wore last season and it's like, I don't want to rewear because from last season, everything again and wear the same outfits I wore as last year. They also hold like clothes hold so many memories Yes, and it's like putting that on tra- not transforms but it takes me back exactly to that time period yeah. and it's like no i'm trying to live like be in, refreshed like in a yes, new period i'm trying to live in a new present moment here yeah. i'm not trying to be taken back to last year no and that's exactly how it feels i literally said that like i was doing like a little like get dressed with me this morning and i was like i hate wearing clothes that even like the, like the cardigan i put on specifically i was like i wore this a lot like seven months ago and it just Ew, it just makes me feel weird like right? wearing it it like gives you the ick because it's not that you yeah. don't like it it's just you're so over it you're just over it and it's like tied to the past yeah not that it has like any specific like memory yeah like, to it but it's like okay this is from last year not like oh that's so last year yeah like, it's not that kind of thing no it's like no this is still trendy it's still cute i yeah. still like it yeah but it's and if you want it i was gonna times, say like, like es- i can't mm-hmm. especially it when it gets like overworn it's not even the fact that it's like, oh, I wore it in a picture. I wore it in... It's like, no, I literally just wore it too much. And now I don't want to wear it yeah. anymore. Especially if it's not a basic. Like yes. if it's something like a bright color. Like yes. Like, like a, any a colored or, sort of piece. Like yeah. obviously basics you could rewear time and time. Like a white yeah. t-shirt. Yeah. You're always going to have Forever. and wear a white t-shirt. Yeah. But something like a cardigan or a crew neck. I get bored of those so easily. I do. Ugh, I literally have a whole bag of stuff to donate but i actually want to try and sell them because a lot of the stuff that i have are like cool crew necks that literally they sell for like 70 dollars at the mm. you know those like curated yes, like vintage, vintage stores, stores. so yeah. i want to because i have so many of yeah. those but i'm so over them now so i want to sell them rather than just give them away because like i paid good money for them even though yeah it's like are they worth that much i don't know yeah but i don't want to sit and like post them all on facebook so yeah. i'm just kind of like oh i need to get rid of them I need to just I need to just sell them quickly so that way I can yeah. use the money to buy new yeah. ones because Honestly, I need new stuff for this season. ASAP. Yeah. Selling on Facebook Marketplace crazy. though is so annoying. Yeah. It's just like people are messaging you, you're going back and forth and then people cancel and then people are saying one thing and then yeah. oh, I can't handle it. But like if you want to sell, that's like the probably the best yeah. option. So and it's the best annoying. is just when someone right away is like, Is this available? Okay, I'll, I can come tomorrow. Perfect. <laughs> and they I just know. come by and you're like, sweet, that was easy. But that's like best case scenario. Yeah, that's why you gotta have like the right items to post that will wanna be sold or wanna be purchased yeah right exactly but that's a good idea to just like sell your old stuff so that you can like use the money to buy new things so you're not like completely wasting you know yeah i need to do a lot of good like thrifting i feel like a lot of my winter clothes are like i thrift like i like to buy like good pants and stuff but if i'm getting like comfy pants track pants like those are things that are easy to thrift same with like yeah. cardigans like i want good like chunky knit sweaters yes. thrifting is the best and i want that. it to be like a grandma wore this like, yeah it was a grandma <laughs> like this is brand new real vintage babe yeah like, like real this is a grandma's yeah it smells like a granny sh- a granny yeah. yeah so yeah i definitely need to do some more shopping soon 
yeah no me because i just go crazy like i yeah. get dressed and i'm like oh no ew, i feel disgusting that is in but that it's like, there's is nothing the wrong that i'm in right now so cute yeah but you just feel like you just feel like you're so or disgusting like, almost like an old version of yourself like you're like yes. the old me the, oh that is such a good way to describe yeah. it and it's like since you the old me wore that yes yeah, since the old you wore that it's like you don't feel confident in it anymore no necessarily totally agree and it's just like it's old it's in the past and i hope we're not the only ones who feel that way <laughs> yeah there's some items that it's like i can keep that around literally forever and wear it forever but just some i just can't do it yeah no i 100 percent agree with you it's so a struggle it's a struggle every season yeah because i'm like oh so last year in terms of what we just explained but yeah. need i need to go shopping, shopping yeah stores. and yeah. thrifting and just like a whole shopping day exactly or a whole shopping week because i just Month. can't like yeah. literally sometimes i just want to throw out everything that i have in my closet besides like a couple white and black t-shirts and start from scratch and completely just like rejuvenate start from scratch mm-hmm. honestly one day i might do it like i Send might it. just throw out everything and just re rebuy because also a lot of like things that i bought in the past when i was younger like i used to get like these huge like shein hauls oh yeah yeah and i don't shop there anymore and so it's just like such bad quality and not very good for anything the environment and whatever and it's just not sustainable but it's like i used to buy clothes like that all the time because they were super cheap and so i feel like that wasn't a good start to like curating a wardrobe yeah you want like good quality basic pieces Mm -hmm. and like build from there yeah so i feel like that's why sometimes like obviously i've gotten rid of so many things since then and most of those things are gone but it's just like i feel like i never fully like built my wardrobe from scratch yeah and i've never had the opportunity to do that Mm -hmm. in like my adult years so sometimes i just literally want to throw everything out yeah go for a good capsule wardrobe yes genuinely might might be doing that 2024 coming too soon kayla's hiring a stylist a personal shopper yes contact me if you want to style me yeah <laughs> that'd be so fun actually that would i would love that have you ever seen those um thrift boxes where you pay like yes yeah yes. and then you send them like pinterest pinterest yes, info, info and then they go and thrift for you yeah i want to do that i'm pretty sure my friend erin actually does that really? i met her through youtube actually um a long time ago and i think she just started to do that because i saw her make a video about it and she's like oh i've started to thrift for, for people i don't know if she like is still doing it or how often she does it but i know she does like yeah. she's like a queen of the thrift store wait that's like a sleigh side hustle that i would is. so do that that yeah. would be so fun yeah you're like the wheels <laughs> the are turning in my is head working. i'm like wait because yeah. <laughs> then i get to go thrifting yeah i just saw like, a light bulb go off in your head like, <laughs> huh. you're like wait a minute i'm like i'd love to pay someone to do that but i'm like i would love to be paid to do that yeah actually yeah that's so funny anyways anyways um, so we can try it out if you want to you can thrift for me yeah <laughs> <laughs> just send me out on a mission yeah so what how's your week been what's up anything new um well i just like had a voice crack there a little bubble um anyways so yeah my week has been good i'm trying to think of anything new we were actually just talking about how we both like never have really anything drastic to like you know the question when people are like oh what's new in your life and like friends you haven't seen in like a few weeks or maybe a few months and then they have like all these stories to tell you they have all these life updates and then like we're both just sitting there and we're like yeah, same old same old not much yeah not <laughs> much but like what i've realized is like that is not boring it's peaceful yeah it's 100%. peaceful so anyways back to my week um i actually made oh my gosh a iced pumpkin spice matcha this morning really yum i have been on the biggest matcha kick hot matcha kick Ooh. in specific because this weekend i didn't really feel like a coffee and I didn't feel like an ice drink because usually yeah. when I make matcha, I'll make it iced. And I didn't, I didn't feel like a hot coffee and I didn't feel like an ice drink. So I'm like, oh my God, like, why don't I just make an ice, um, a hot matcha? And I haven't made a hot matcha in like years. Yeah. I'm like, let me make it. Oh my goodness. That was like the best thing I have had in so long. I have just been on a huge matcha kick. Like I've been making one every morning. It's been, so, it's so good. I don't know what it is about the hot matcha right now that I'm loving, but I'm yeah. maybe because the season changing and whatever. But anyways, this morning I decided I'm like, okay, I'm going to do a pumpkin spice ice matcha. And I got this milk, pumpkin spice oat milk from Khalifa Farms. And it's mm-hmm. like a, the barista version. Yeah. I just picked it up and I'm like, oh, I got to try it. So I used half cashew milk 
in my matcha and then I did half the pumpkin spice oat milk. Yeah. It was so good. So good. I really enjoyed it. I don't think I've ever tried pumpkin spice and matcha because in my head, I feel like those flavors wouldn't go good together wouldn't wouldn't mix well yeah that's what i thought too but i'm like i have to try it and i didn't put like too much in it was just like half of the milk yeah so it was actually really good it does sound good um and i have just yeah i ordered like a matcha kit so i got like the wooden whisk i got the bowl and the cute little traditional things so i'm gonna start making a lot more matcha this fall for sure so i'm excited about that loves it um this week i actually put my whole couch in the washing machine really I literally uncovered all of these covers. It looks nice and clean. Yeah, it it is, girl. It took so long because... Oh, I'm sure. You wouldn't think that, like, this couch has a lot of cushions, like, covers. It took me three loads. No, I would think it does. Yeah. Because <laughs> you have to take off every single... Yeah. There's a lot of pieces to it. Yeah, there is. And I was just like, I've had this couch for a year now. It we, needs a good wash. We yeah. spot clean it. Yeah. And I'll va- I vacuum it, like, every week yeah. to keep it clean. But I'm just like, it's time yeah it's time for me to take it apart and like do the thing yeah so i took out all the cushion covers i did had to do three loads of laundry and then i put them all to air dry yeah around the house because you can't really throw them in the dryer yeah. and oh my gosh they're so clean you, you should have seen it when i first did the couch oh, they were fresh oh my god and as soon as you would walk in this area it would smell fresh mm. like laundry that's oh that's so good i know and i didn't like i didn't want to sit on the couch for that whole day yeah. because I, I was just admiring it's too perfect. it i'm like i can't sit on it yeah and i'm like sorry joel couch off limits for today like, like not even a speck of yeah, dust can get no, on here i need to admire it and then like the cats were jumping on it and i'm like no get off <laughs> today you're not allowed on the furniture yeah sorry girls oh my god um, but no that was really satisfying to do and what else oh i also Went to HomeSense yesterday, did yep. some damage, and I got a bunch again. of... Yeah, again, times two. I got a bunch of fall candles. Nice. Which is exciting, and I started dispersing them throughout my house. So that's fun. And I was wanted like a little bit more of like to get a couple more items for like cute decor things, but I couldn't really find much. Mm-hmm. And I also always get overstimulated in HomeSense. Yeah. I feel like especially when I'm alone. Yeah. Because there's nobody to like help give me advice right yeah so if i'm looking at something and i'm like oh would this be cute you're like i have so many decisions to make on my own right now i know and there's nobody there helping me make decisions bounce off like yeah that is cute i see your vision yeah yes so then i'm there stuck in an aisle and i'm like holy shit i've been here for like almost two hours i just go back and forth in my head and usually when somebody's there they're gonna help me along right and be like okay like let's go whatever but no when i'm alone I'm literally just there stuck in my own head trying to make the a decision. The worker's like, what is this chick doing? She's been standing in this no, aisle for 30 They're probably like, minutes. this is sus. Yeah. This is sus. She's definitely stealing. Yeah. <laughs> and then this guy like came into the aisle and he's like, whoa, got a lot of candles there, don't ya? And I'm like, bye. Like literally <laughs> Yes, bye. I do. And? And? Um, cause I put all the ones that I liked in my cart and yeah. then I was going to sort through them later. Yeah. Cause I was so overstimulated and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to buy these and then what I love is that you can return them yeah. in, within 10 days. So I like taking it home and then getting to make the decision mm-hmm. for sure. And then taking back what I don't like. I like that better than like having to make a rash decision in the store. Like, do you agree with that? No. Okay. <laughs> That's just me. I, guess. I just don't do that. Like I, I get what you're saying. Totally. Yeah. I just don't do that personally. Okay. Cause well, I'd rather spend less money. <laughs> okay. Well for me, at the time. for me, it's like, I don't care if I spend like a thousand dollars and get and then I'll and then I go back and get refunded 800 do you know what I, I just mean? hate having to go back and return stuff. oh I just think it's yeah. a, it's an extra step and I'm like oh I'll just buy it no or not buy it yeah 100 percent. I totally agree but for but me but I do get what you mean just though. to take like, off you the stress kind of, of test it out making, and be in your own home exactly yeah. then it's like once it's in the house then I can be like oh for sure this one right yeah yeah so it's funny how like things change once I get home yeah so then I have more clarity Long story short, got some fall candles um, and cute little fall things, and that was fun. I'm trying to think what else, but I think that's basically basically been it. Chill, um, chill week. Chill, chill week, fun week. Just kind of planning out my fall content because yep. it's that time of year. Yeah, strapping in for a busy end of the year. Oh, yeah. What yeah, about girl. you? Um, Not much. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've just been... 
I say this every week, literally just work. Let me just double check and see if there was anything that I did. Um, I mean, I went thrifting the other day. We were just talking about that, but we yes. specifically went thrifting to for Vegas stuff because we're going to Vegas tomorrow, which yes. when this is out, I will be back. I had so much fun. It was great. <laughs> like, it was great. It was lit. It was a movie. Yeah. Um, I mean, I didn't really find anything specifically. I ended up just finding other stuff, but that's fine because... It was cheap. So I also bought my first fall candle so far this Ooh, year. Let's hear the details on it. Um, I went to Michael's because my friend, Hannah, she loves crocheting and she wanted to crochet me a blanket. So mm-hmm. she's like, Aww. let's go and pick out because she's obsessed with crocheting. Like she yeah. sits and watches TV and just does it. And yes. she's like, I want to make you a blanket so bad because she made herself Aww. one. And she's like, come and pick out colors so then I can start making Aww. you one. It's like so therapeutic for her. I love it. Like she just sits and does it and Aww. she whips like she's quick at it too. This blanket is um, handmade. Is not, it really? Not by me, but one of my <laughs> Not by me. But, but one, one of my made friends it. made it for me. I love it. Shout but it's out. just so cute. And I'm like so sentimental. So yeah, we went to Michael's and then when we were there, you just kind of, every time we go to a store, like you just have to walk around and see what else they Especially got, right? Michael's too. There's so many little knickknacks and knickknacks, like fun things, things that right? it's like, I need to see what's in here right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. And they always have a bunch of sales. They do. Yeah. AKA the candles because Ooh. they had all their fall candles in and they were yeah. $9.99 each and it was buy one, get one free. <laughs> so you're like mm, stocking up stocking up but not even because i said to hannah i was like oh, i was like i we don't need fall candles yet like especially because we're going to vegas we're yeah like, it's still summer in our heads like yeah wait another week yeah. at least and then i was like but we could just split it then we each get uh, one candle for five dollars yeah and they're like a pretty big candle yeah so i'm like okay let's just do it so yeah. i stood there and smelt them all and i was like yeah i got vanilla chai mm, it's good and it's a white it's just good. white in a white jar so it like matches yeah. my room really nicely cute so I did get one candle and then I was like, okay, hey, I'm not lighting this yet. And then like the night later, I was like, oop, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, it you're like, I vibe. fell into the trap. I did. It just sets the vibe like at night when you're like laying in your bed and you have a candle yes. going. It does really set the vibe. And it's not like a super powerful candle. So I'm yeah. like, it's fine. Yeah. So I, yeah. Super I, powerful I bought a candle. candle. I gave in. Love that. Um, But yeah, no, my week's just been pretty chill. Just yeah worked did a couple things thrifted blah 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 i've just been getting like prepared to go this weekend and are you yeah, all packed yet or no. like what time's your flight tomorrow tomorrow we i think we're leaving around two our flight's not until like five. Oh, that's nice so we're not getting to vegas until like eight eight or nine mm-hmm. um but it's a late flight which never happens i always am like flying out early where i'm up at like four or five a.m like yeah. no makeup in sweats yes so I'm excited to actually have like my makeup done and like look cute. So when we get there, like yes. we're ready to just like go for food or whatever. Yes. And it's such a short flight. So yeah, it's, it's just like, like two and a half hours. Yeah. Not a big deal. Um, But it's nice that I have the morning. So I think I'm just going to pack tomorrow because for me, that's why it's harder on like the really early flights because I still have to do like say tomorrow I'm going to have to do makeup, skincare, brush my like I'm going to get ready and then I can pack those things versus mm. like, you know, when you have an early flight in the morning, you're like, okay, but I can't pack and put away my skincare yet because when I wake up in the morning, I'm going to need to do my skincare, brush yes. my teeth, brush like my hair, put on my deodorant. Yeah. And that's when it gets scary because you're going to forget all yes. those things yes. because you leave them out. Yeah. So that's why I'm just going to fully pack tomorrow. I don't know. Just seems easier to me. Yeah. No, that. that and I have time in the morning, sense. which is nice. Like I'm not in a rush at all. So yeah, that's I'll good. Just, I'm just going to do it all tomorrow morning. I'm just like lining a few things up today and then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But that's so fun. Yeah. I'm, I'm quite excited. It's nice because the whole last week it was 40 degrees there every day. That's they actually had insane. A crazy. Oh, LA too. Wave. Yeah. They, they had a too. huge heat wave. It was like 40 degrees. I know. I'm like. So then we kept waiting until like the weather like would show when we were going. I'm like, yeah. okay, good. It's not going to be that hot. Yeah. But it's still 32 to 35 this weekend there. Damn. And then all of a sudden the day after we leave, it drops down to like 25, 27. So it's like we're getting the last little chunk yeah. of like really hot. Like really hot. Which is crazy because to them it's like, oh, 35, 32 isn't that bad compared mm-hmm. to the 40 they just had. But I'm like, that's going to be the hottest weather I've had this whole entire summer. Yeah, that's so funny. And it's like coming down for them, which yeah. is crazy. That's like not that bad big for them no which is so crazy but yeah i'm excited it'll be good and then we'll be back and i'll be in full fall mode yeah i will be emerged you will be a pumpkin and yeah speaking of which we are going to talk about our fall bucket list today Mm -hmm. we know you guys have been dying Dying. we've had people lining up out the door everyone's been asking everywhere yeah everyone like my my phone like glitched my phone's blowing up we have so many like notifications from I people know. wondering god we're so unserious because literally no one asked yeah. but <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna tell so but we're telling you because yeah. duh because we're yappers our video though like our summer bucket list did do really good like i think people really enjoyed they that did, yeah so 
part time two. Time for a fall one, babe. Fall. Time for fall one. Yeah, so well, let's get into it. Let's kick it off. Let's kick it all off. Kick it off. You can take it away, Miss Girl. Okay, I wrote a little list down on my phone. So same. I'm. She was saying this earlier. She's like, I'm waiting for both of us to be saying the exact same things every time. Every time, like oh, same. <laughs> oh, me too. Yeah, that was yeah, on my list. Yeah, yeah, you know that was on my list. Yeah. yeah. So we really only have like half the amount of things. Yeah, four things. Um. Okay. First one on the list is to bake and to cook lots of new hearty. <laughs> Oh recipes God, crazy. 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 <laughs> oh that's definitely not on your list right no not at all it would it would never be never no wouldn't ca- catch her dead with that on no, her no, list no, no. um <laughs> but it's just the perfect time too it, it really is like soups i want to get into more like soups. fun fall winter soups yeah you know like fun some, soups. some fun new <laughs> recipes and then on the other side of that it's a it's baking season it, yeah like it's sweet treat season like we're gonna be baking muffins we're gonna be baking cookies anything sweet is gonna be baked in this home it will be and just like finding new cute little recipes yeah. healthy alternative recipes maybe and just like exploring new recipes as i said a million times just then yeah <laughs> i like started the sentence and i'm like girl like you're trying to Use. reach your word count here. yeah <laughs> literally <laughs> Um, no, I also put, like, I more so put specifically to bake, because honestly, like, I'm quite, p- not picky. Yes, I am picky. I was going to pretend I wasn't picky. Girl, I'm picky. Girl, yeah, you are picky. <laughs> but, um, like, I would try new, obviously, food recipes and whatnot. Of course, soup. My mom loves making new soups. I think I've said that, but she's the one that makes the soups, and I'm just like, yum, sweet, new soup. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, I specifically want to bake, because I've enjoyed baking, like, a few things over the summer. Mm-hmm. That was really fun. And yeah. no one else in my house bakes. Like, my yeah. mom was never a baker. Yeah. Like, she don't bake. So if anyone wants a baked good, I'm making it. It's made so, by me. Yeah, same thing. I want to bake as well. Yeah. And it's, like, it's a time of year where it gets dark super early. Yeah. So it's, like, you just kind of have that much more time where, like, you feel like you could just kind of do things at home yeah. like that, right? Whereas in the summer, it's, like, oh, it's still right out at 8 p.m. You want to be outside. You want to be on a walk outside and- instead of, like, baking inside yeah so it's just like the perfect time of year to actually like be able to do those types of homey things yes like just wholesome homey things you know what's the best is when you're at home like chilling on the couch and it's cozy vibes oh and it's god. raining but wait and it smells like cookies oh like my fresh gosh cookies and then the like house. somebody comes out of their room and walks down and they're like what's that smell mm, it, it smells, smells like cookies. so good yeah. and you're like Yep, I made got that. them in the oven and they're ready in five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love that. It's so good. It's so funny when I'm baking something and Joel walks down and I like had just put them in and he's like, oh my God, it smells good. And then he looks at the timer. He's like, 30 minutes left. He's like, are you serious? He's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Wrong time to walk down. Yeah, literally. One of mine is um, pick up a new hobby. Let me guess you put that down too. I literally put indoor hobbies. Yep exactly like i need more things to do inside and like that goes hand in hand with i put like also to read more so like reading can also be a hobby that as ties well into another one same yeah. kind of thing definitely want to read lots because of, like mm-hmm. you just said you're indoor a lot yeah. you have a lot more time so just to find other things i don't know what that may be maybe i'll be thrifting and selling packages <laughs> everybody <laughs> comment down below if you would buy from her yeah, if you yeah, let her yeah. thrift for you <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah no just other little things to do i don't know what that would be i'm honestly not very I always say I'm not very artistic, but I'm not very artistic in the sense of like drawing, painting, yeah. those. But like, you know, I could do a good craft or two. Yeah. I, I mean, figure something out. I was thinking about potentially starting not knitting, but there's like an easier version of knitting. Maybe not crocheting. I don't really know what it's called. Like, it's like hand. You do it with your hands. I don't really know. You have to search up on TikTok or something. But that would be fun to like take up like mm-hmm. while watching a movie. Yeah. Like a Harry Potter movie or something. Yeah. Instead of just like scrolling on your phone. Yeah. Apparently crocheting isn't that hard. I think knitting is harder than crocheting. Okay. Crocheting is just like the one. Kn- knitting is two hook and crochet is just one hook. Okay. If yeah. I'm not. I'm honestly knit. have no idea. But. <laughs> well. <laughs> look into it yeah i gotta look into it yeah that's definitely a good hobby make yourself some blankets and yeah things do you have any ideas and other than like reading honestly no i don't know (laughs) i need inspo yeah let us know some cute hobbies guys i don't know yeah but just yeah little hobbies things to do indoors pass the time until it's summer again (laughs) (laughs) and like you're just gonna be like inside like a hermit until summer yeah no hibernating yeah until for no literally hibernating because it's so true it's like in the summer it's so easy to get off your phone because you go spend a whole day at the beach 
outside and it's like you're not going to touch your phone yeah. but in the winter it's like oh it's pouring rain outside it's storming and um what is there to do right so it's like Nada. then you can r- completely just resort to scrolling on your phone all day yeah. so that is the difference where it's like in the winter and stuff and in the fall you really have to like make an effort at like finding fun things to do indoors yeah, you really have to put more of an effort into yeah, keeping yourself way. entertained some are so easy because yeah. you could do absolutely anything yeah but winter it's like you need to put effort in exactly my next one on the list is to make lots of fun like drinks Ooh. i've been getting really inspired on tick i've been on like barista tiktok yeah and the girls are like making their own their cold foam i don't know just making so many like a honey a honey cinnamon latte for the fall and i'm like i gotta get on it and ex- expand my horizons yeah so I'm kind of inspired to go to the store and to buy like all the ingredients necessary to make whatever type of cute little beverage and to just like have fun with it at yep. at home and like make that kind of a hobby for the um, the fall and the winter. Even though I love myself going out to get a drink at a cafe, realistically, that only happens like once a week ends yep. up happening. So it's like six out of the seven days of the week I'm making drinks at home. Yeah. So I feel like it would be really fun instead of making like the same latte, the same matcha every single day, like try to experiment with it. Totally. Like take inspo from like a pumpkin spice, whatever, and try to make it at home instead of buying it, you know? And this also gives me something to do. It's just such a rewarding feeling when like you make a really cute, nice drink at home and then you taste it and it's just as good or better than a cafe. Yeah. And I also saw people making like a strawberry matcha at home and like making their own strawberry puree sauce and i'm like okay i gotta get on it like i gotta buy all these things these concoction ingredients and i'm gonna just like up my drink game and become a barista yeah i mean why not yeah why not yeah and there's lots of yeah lots of different mixtures and flavors and everything you can play with which is really fun i've been making like just like hot tea at home Mm -hmm. like the last few days because it's been like cooler and it just yeah it's nice. I just will even make like uh what have I had this week? Oh, I've just been making like English breakfast tea, like the, yeah. like the black tea with mm-hmm. um I have like a pumpkin spice creamer, putting that in it. Yeah. And then putting just a little bit of cinnamon on top. Ooh. And it's good. What pumpkin spice creamer did you buy? It's um it's a very popular one. Okay. Like when I walk into Save On, there's a million of them. Like I don't know if it's delight. I don't think it's delight. I think it's like the other one that's like that. But it's lactose free. Okay. And it's really good. And like, I know the Starbucks one is really good, but the yeah. pumpkin spice one, I don't think it's out yet. The Starbucks one. I and if I, so, it's not easy to find. I think it is. I just saw it at the grocery store. Okay. Got it. Um, I had that last year, but it's also like way more expensive. And I don't know. This other one is just as good. Like it's fine. I don't send me a photo because I'm curious. Now. Yeah. It's really good. Then I've just been adding a little bit and that into like a uh, iced chai. Okay. as well as good or it could be good in a hot chai yeah. but that is good and just a little cinnamon on it or some nutmeg or something mm, adding cinnamon or nutmeg to anything is just it screams fall it does it very much does. fall central yes. i love that so yeah just want to up my drinking your what my drinking i thought you said you're drinking and i my was like drink game. okay that sounds dangerous <laughs> okay this one is very specific to vancouver one of the things on my fall bucket list is to go to fright night this year which mm. is we have like the peony every year or like playland it's like our roller coaster amusement park and every halloween they do fright night which is like for a week or two honestly it might even be almost the whole month of october but anyways it's it's just like scary roller coaster amusement park and they have like you know actors who are like dressed up and walk around and there's like fog machines and it's spooky and there's lots of haunted houses kind of like universal studios the scary one on a really small scale yeah on a really tiny small budget <laughs> <laughs> um i'm not a scary like a haunted house girl like i won't go in them yeah but do i want to rock around in a scary atmosphere when yeah there's creepy people yeah. walking around like yeah i want to do that and yeah. i say every year that i want to go and then it just like becomes too late or just doesn't work out but i really want to go this year yeah it's more or less like the spooktober spooky vibes spooktober spooktober Spooktober. um but i mean it is in fall so i think that counts that's something that i want to do for sure yeah have you ever been i have been i've been twice okay Okay. so the first time i went was when literally me and joel just started dating and that was a bomb time like it was so good they had so many actors around the park like haunted houses we went in two haunted houses and they were so scary like i was shitting my pants oh my god and even joel was scared i'm like you need to protect me like what (laughs) are you doing what are you doing 
scared yeah. mister yeah thank you very much and that was like really good really good time it was yeah. good and then i actually just ended up going back i think last year or the year before but i'm pretty sure it was last year mm-hmm. and it was so bad really like in comparison yeah. to the first time that i went it seemed like they had just like thrown a budget their budget out the window or something mm. because there was like no actors around the park anymore and the mm. vibes weren't vibing like they were before interesting and we only we didn't buy the fast passes or anything so maybe yeah. that was an issue but we only got to go on one ride because all of the lines were we waited three hours oh my god in line and so we only got to go on one roller coaster and did you go on like a weekend no we literally went i'm pretty sure it was like a thursday night it hmm. wasn't even like a busy hot like period and it was jam like pack like they sold way too many tickets for this it wasn't even enjoyable enough where we uh, we barely even got on one ride right i think you have to go like pretty early like when it starts and it's like not even spooky vibes yet but it's like you yeah have to go. yeah like maybe, everyone wants to go like the week of halloween or like, yeah the week before but yeah i think we did go the week before halloween so maybe that's why but it was just like i don't know the we walked around like the haunted house area and there just wasn't as many actors or I don't even know if there was any it was actors. It was way too busy and, and the it, vibes it was weren't way on too par. busy exactly. It was more so just like what happened. Yeah. Like it was the vibes were so good the first time we went. Well, if you went last year, <laughs> maybe it's cuz they did a 10 million dollar renovation on the wooden roller coaster. So, bye. <laughs> Give to their budget. Yeah, literally. Literally a 10 million dollar renovation to that ride. Yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised. That's crazy. 10 million dollars like what do you do f- what do you do with that on the roller coaster? Know. That's a, l- a lot of wood. To yeah. Buy. <laughs> like, like geez. The like, wood. are you like redoing the whole thing? Oh, God. So, I mean, I wouldn't say not to go because I would go experience yeah. it for yourself. And who knows? Maybe so many because so many people complained about it mm. because everybody was having that experience where they were like, it's way too busy this year. There's no actors. Like, what's going on? Yeah. So I don't know if it was just last year that was super shitty. I kind of feel like I heard about that, actually. Mm-hmm. And it was like in the news. People were like don't go to fright night like it's horrible this year like oh my god it was literally in the news i didn't go then yeah so maybe last year they were experimenting with a shit year with a lower budget and whatever so it could be bomb this year who knows so i would definitely for sure still go yeah i don't know if i'm still gonna go because after last year we're like like, you go first and let me know (laughs) (laughs) no seriously because after last year we were like oh my god we're never going again like what a waste yeah I don't know. I mean, I hope you, I, I hope it's a good year this year. Cause if you like it, I'll definitely go. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah. You'll be the little test dummy. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. See you not there. Not. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll see. But it, it is a good vibe. I love like spooky vibes. Yeah. Like that too. around I like Halloween. I spooky vibes, but I don't like getting this shit scared out of me. Yeah. I don't like that. Yeah. So. No, I know what you mean. We could just make a haunted house ourselves. Yeah. We'll just make one in your garage and. Yeah. Um, call it a night <laughs> haunted houses are actually so scary because we went to uni- universal like years ago um and we went to the walking dead haunted house oh did you go during halloween no we went during i'm pretty sure it was like the summer i don't know why they just i guess that ha- haunted house is always there i guess because it's walking dead like uh, yeah and i don't think it's literally like a scary not yeah. a scary show but it's a zombie show yeah like i don't know what other kind of thing you would have you know? yeah and it was so scary really like i was shitting my pants and <laughs> me and madison went in it together and there was like this janitor guy that he wasn't even an actor or anything he was literally just like a janitor in there and he like walked right in front of us and we screamed <laughs> and then he's, he's he looks at us and he's like scared and we're like oh my god we thought you were like, we're like a you zombie were just a passerby. yeah like, like <laughs> i'm so sorry like we freaked out and That's it was so literally funny. like one of the guys that's like maintaining the haunted house oh my god um but yeah do i if there's any haunted house i'd go in it'd be a walking dead one yeah no it was it was cool because like the show yeah but it's almost time for me to start rewatching it again honestly it's also the walking dead is a good show to watch in the fall because there's 10 seasons like you need time it is such a good show i don't know if i'm ready to rewatch it just yet damn we'll see but i love like i watch it like once a year you do doesn't that take like really long like it does okay so maybe it's like i don't know i watch it pretty often though okay like from start to finish Mm -hmm. shit okay so get on it uh i okay it's one of those shows though that like 
I'm so invested in that it just makes me so sad when people die. And yeah. do you know what I mean? It's just like you're so invested into it. True, and, and it doesn't like, get like even the amount of times I've rewatched it, like it doesn't get better. Like you're still like, fuck. No, I know. Oh, every time. And it's like <laughs> before I watch a show like that, I need to like mentally prepare myself. Yeah. I had to stop watching sh- some shows because it would emotionally affect me too much. <laughs> <laughs> you're like i'm distraught I no like sometimes i just need like a light-hearted show yeah because it doesn't make me in any type of mood yeah you know like i don't feel anything when i watch yeah it's this. just like That's happy vibes like good yeah. vibes you know so i don't know we'll see but the haunted house was good and it's not like i i, I don't want to say i like haunted houses because they scared the shit out of me but they're just like it's fun they're fun <laughs> they get your heart racing yes oh yeah. i know i definitely need to do a haunted house because i don't want to be a baby forever and be like i've never gone in one but yeah I watched a video of um, Universal Studios, someone doing like a walkthrough with like a camera Mm -hmm. and it just, it actually didn't look that scary. And it was the insidious one that everyone's saying is the scariest haunted house ever. Yeah. But I'm like, if it's only people jumping out and then they go back into their spot three seconds later. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I feel like, yeah, it's scary, but it's like, to me, what scares me if if it's like someone's crawling on the ground and like grabbing your ankles and chasing you the whole time, you know what I mean? Like, but if it's just people, they go, rah, and then they go back. Yeah. I feel like it's not that scary because you're just expecting people to just keep jumping out at you the whole time. Yeah. I feel like haunted houses used to be so much scarier because they would have people chasing you Yeah, and they would have people literally grabbing you. But now with new, like legal reasons, they can't can't touch you. Exactly. So I feel like- There's some there you can sign though. Like you literally sign a consent form that's like, they're going to grab you and they might literally pull at you like oh you have my to be okay, with that. okay i wouldn't do that i wouldn't either i'd be like stay away i from i me. like to know that they can't touch you yeah you know and then that gives me you peace know, of you mind you can't touch me bitch you can't touch me you can't bitch. Touch me. try i'll sue you <laughs> <laughs> you will be sued go ahead so you <laughs> yeah literally so yeah i would love to go to universal this yeah halloween and disney that would be fun so maybe. Disney and Halloween is so it looks so cute and I want to go so bad I know. one day. I've never been during I feel like Disney's the best during like this time of year for the fall, it's Halloween so there. and for Christmas. It, imagine all the all the kids in their Halloween costumes like cuz you can go on Halloween, oh, you go trick or treating there. Like that's so oh, cute. That's probably like one of the best days of the year to go to Disney yeah. and or Universal, but and one of the most expensive. <laughs> like that yeah. is like you're paying to trick or treat. Yeah, you know what I mean? literally. Like, it's expensive there. Yeah, no, it's true. But that'd be so fun. I mean, Joel and I have always talked about going during this time of year. So we're like, maybe this year, if we go, it'll be like a very last minute yeah. decision. So we'll see. But literally, LA is a two hour flight. Like my brother just went to visit my cousin and he booked the flight the night before he left. Yeah. Because it's it's so just it's, it's like easy to book flights to California for sure. So easy to book and it's just last minute cheap flights whatever. We could just literally book a trip within a day and go. Boom. So it'll be last minute if we go, but that would be so much fun because like the vibes would be vibing. They would be like on 10. I I just love getting in the Halloween fall spirit. Well, on that topic, you said you want to go to Fright Night, and I put on my list that I really want to go to the Corn Maze. Mm. Um, it's one where I think it's called the Haunted Corn Maze. And they, like, scare you in the corn maze. Oh, my God. That yeah. is scary. I know. But, like, that would be... To go with, like, a group of people, that would be so fun. I would go. So, invite me. I will. <laughs> and that would be, like, a perfect two-in-one because I'm pretty sure there are pumpkin patches as well. Yeah. Well, I guess, like, if you're going at night, you're not going to go, like, looking for a pumpkin. But it's kind of, like, it has those vibes, too. Yeah. So, it's not just, like, a haunted house. Yeah. It's, like, a two-in-one. I think... Is that one, like, in Surrey? It might be in, like, Chilliwack or... or somewhere further well there's a place called man farms yes it's that one. Oh, is it in, in that's no it's in abbotsford oh okay yeah yeah but that one my brother went to last year or yeah. maybe the year before but he was like it was so freaking scary and i oh, heard really the, it is i've heard then. like man farms is very scary like okay. if you want to go somewhere it's yeah. expensive like it might cost you 80 bucks to go through a corn yeah. maze but i've heard it's super expensive or er, not expensive <laughs> super scary. scary there's one where they put bags over your head sacks like potato sacks over your head and you have to hold on to a rope and they guide you through somewhere and like there's people scaring you and grabbing you and stuff no like it's intense like it's scary there. okay well i'm gonna there's have multiple to- and then there's yeah like the corn maze where you go through the corn and like people are literally chasing you through the corn okay i'm gonna have to no like it's scary like i think it's scarier than fright night i've heard oh my god no fright night's not even scary okay so if if you're well it might be this year <laughs> um but if your brother said that i'm gonna have to do research before yeah, we go he was like this is really scary no look it up on tiktok like they get lots of people being like People, well, because it's like out in Abbotsford, a lot of people come out far. Yeah, for yeah, it yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's scary. Okay. But they have lots of different things. Like every year they have like multiple kinds yeah. of like 
little excursion yeah. thing and apparently they have like they sell you know like the vampire diaries how they drink like blood yeah in like the pack yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so that. apparently they sell those and stuff yeah. so i feel like it would just be a vibe yeah and i don't know now that i hear it's super scary we'll do some research before we go i think i went to the pumpkin patch there one time mm-hmm. and it was good but it's like it's in a way smaller section because when they actually do like the mazes and all that stuff like it's in huge land obviously yeah. but another thing what we're talking about is that i want to go to the pumpkin patch because yeah. i don't think i went last year I went a couple years ago. Like, I go to the pumpkin patch every odd year, but yeah. sometimes I forget. Yeah. And I just want to go to the pumpkin patch. Yeah, the pumpkin Get patch is always a vibe. And, like, see the animals. Yeah, the depending animals, on the which goats. One you go to, the little bunnies. <laughs> Alder Acres is a cute one. That's where I went last year. and They it always was, have, like, puppies and it was, piggies. That was my cute. first time going to that specific one, because I yeah. usually just go to the lady pumpkin patch. And... Oh my gosh, they had so many cute animals. Yeah, they do. They have good ones. And it was a good time. I enjoyed it. And it was just like emanating. We went on like a crisp, sunny day. Oh yeah. And it was like the perfect day to go. It was just everything I ever wanted and more. Right. It was crazy how expensive pumpkin patches are getting though. Like to like pay admission for your like your pumpkin patch and then you have to pay for your pumpkin. It's it's a little crazy, but I mean it's so popular and it's such like a cute like little wholesome like family activity or whatever. Mm But no, I definitely want to go this year because I didn't go last year. Yeah. They know you, they can milk you now. It's all you got. They're like, inflation, inflation. <laughs> $49 to yeah. walk it, um, through the mud. Yeah, and then, oh, you're coming out and you have a pumpkin, another 50 bucks. Yeah. But so. it's a fun experience overall. Yeah. At the end of the day, pumpkin it's like you're going to have to do what you got to do. Yeah. The pumpkin patch always puts me in the fall spirit. Yes. It's like the number one thing to do. Like if you need fall, yeah. go to a patch. Go to a patch and then carve your pumpkin. Bite. Yeah. And then you're carving pumpkins. That's so cute. Yeah, I like carving pumpkins. Or I take painting it, like, pumpkins. too seriously. <laughs> yeah, last year with friends, like we painted them instead of carving because carving is a lot, a lot more work. Yeah, which is also fun. I do like carving them, but painting is fun. Yeah. Last year I got like mini ones and painted them because they're just so much easier. And I painted one as like a cow, and it was really cute. Oh, that's so cute! A little pumpkin cow. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, I love that. Yeah, it's always fun yeah no that's a good one it's like the ultimate fall thing to do yeah i mean like fall equals pumpkin batch. that and then you have to bake like the pillsbury sugar cookies the oh ones my with, like, the one the with fall the fall designs yeah, on yeah, them. yeah yeah boom that's boom. a fall night that is a fall day yeah. add in a hot chocolate boom add in a chai latte and then a movie after and then a, ha- a harry like, potter that movie. is like the ultimate fall day that is fall 101 101 yeah the perfect fall day oh my yeah. goodness and then you start the morning out for breakfast at a cute little like cozy cafe that is the ultimate Ugh, fall. Guys, we're emanating Day. the fall vibes right now. We are. It's quite gray. Another thing on my bucket list is to just make my house super cozy. Light the candles. Do the thing. And just emanate. Do the thing. <laughs> just the like thing emanate question. good vibes in the house, you yeah. know. And just make it super cozy. Like if it's raining, you know. Lean into it. Lean, romanticize literally it. Literally, like. Re- like get a hot drink open the windows a little bit yeah like listen to it listen to it put some sound effects on the tv of like i've done that before and Mm -hmm. and then i would sit on the couch and read it's a good vibe to the rain sound effects while it's raining outside yeah (laughs) like the ambient on my tv it's like rain it's like fall rain sound effects and then it like shows on the screen it's like such a cute little thing anyways love doing that um and then like lighting a couple candles after a fresh sunday reset clean up the house Name Candles something better light, than that. Good. Name yeah. something better. That's After gl- showering, a full body shower, Sunday reset, sit down, light a candle. Oh my God. Put on a no, movie it's perfect. with the cookies in the oven. It is perfect. That is what I'm trying to emanate in this household. So just making the vibes fall and cozy is where I'm at. It's where she's at, girl. Where I'm at. <laughs> right here on <laughs> no, this I couch, it. actually. Um, another thing on my bucket list is I feel like quite obvious. It's just to set new intentions like for the season. Like I really want to just sit down and like write out goals, intentions, yeah. kind of like the bucket list things as well. And mm-hmm. just finalize exactly how I'm feeling and whatnot. And love that. <laughs> a straight, that straight forward. One. Straight shooter. Yeah. I feel like every season it's good to do that. To yeah. just like write new goals. Reflect. Reflect on the previous reassess. season. And just like see where you're at. See what you want to accomplish. It's always good to have like ongoing goals. Yeah. Even if they're tiny, big, small, whatever they are. It's good to have something. Yeah. And so if you ever feel lost or unmotivated, you can go and refer back to them. And yeah, just exactly. be like, okay, this is what I need to do going forward. Right? Like remember 
what you want Mm -hmm. so that's a good idea yep so i need to do that next week sometime that's a good i mean fall officially doesn't start until the 21st so we still have like a week left of quote-unquote summer yeah so you still got time i got time also i random this isn't random it's just it's not part of the bucket list but the well i mean it is because i want to watch a lot of movies Mm mm-hmm but we are going to do our little movie club. Mm-hmm. But I think definitely we should start like next week. Yeah. I mean, I have absolutely no time to watch a movie before yeah. the next episode. But I mean, like next week, yeah. we'll start it and we'll yeah. pick something and watch. Yeah. Let's start with that next week. So I'm if so anyone down. wants to comment movie ideas on this episode, mm-hmm. we'll read them for next week. And yes. That out. That's going to be so much fun. Yeah. I'm excited. Movie club. Movie club. Movie club. And so you have to finish it before we get back. Yeah. together otherwise you're fired from the channel yeah otherwise you're done you're done you're being microphone removed. is being thrown out yeah you're done see ya wouldn't want to be ya nah <laughs> nah 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 no nah. that's gonna be so fun that's so fall i love it it's almost like a little hobby totally and it's yeah. like a club like a cute community club and i'm excited to like watch movies that i haven't seen also before yes that will put you in the because i'm such like a rewatcher. Yes. Yeah, so if it's if it's you know you and i like mm-hmm. it being held a cannibal a yeah. cannibal i just said a cannibal <laughs> a cannibal <laughs> ah, no <laughs> no we're not cannibals um being held accountable to watch movie because you're also watching it and i have to finish it yeah. like i will actually watch it otherwise normally i literally scroll on netflix for like 45 minutes and then i'm like mm, okay shrek that i've seen 17 <laughs> times like mm, okay <laughs> like all these new movies Fine. i should watch but i'm just gonna put on scooby-doo that i've yeah. seen 20 times um, so yeah i'm really excited for that yeah, same. Joel and I recently started a new show on Netflix together, um, and it's called Outlast, mm-hmm. and it's basically a survival show, but it's actually really good. Like, I, I like it, and basically, I guess you never watch it alone, but it gives, like, similar vibes, because it's kind of like a survival show, but it's on, it's like a Netflix show, so mm-hmm. it's a bit different, and they have, like, real cameramen with them and everything, and they're basically, like, separated into teams, oh, and okay. it's, like, who can outlast the uh, longest, yeah. but there's, like, no rules, so you could, like, ditch your team and go join another team if you want, oh. and so... You it's, can, like, sabotage the other teams yes, and stuff. Yes, you could, like, steal stuff from them. Like, there's no rules. Yeah. And so you oh, could, that's kind of fun. like, do whatever to win. And so it's kind of, like, really entertaining. And we're on the finale episode because the last two just came out. So, and it actually is kind of, like, a fall vibe show because they're, like, in the forest in the, in the cold. Yeah. So it's emanating fall. Dude, word of the day is emanating. <laughs> that's your word of the day. It is. I mean, like you always have a word of the day. I do. Like you I pick do. one word and you're like, this works for everything. This is going to be today's this word. This is today's word. Yeah. We're focusing on it. Um, that's fun. I like that. But yeah, no, it's it's just a quick little watch. Yeah. And it's actually actually entertaining. I, I don't know why I love survival shows because I feel like you also learn a lot watching yeah. them where it's like, okay, if I had, had to survive in the woods. I know a tip or two. I would know kind of what to do. It's like watching Grey's Anatomy. It's like, I would maybe know how to perform surgery. Like, I could save someone's life, for yeah, sure. Yeah, maybe. We'll see about that. But <laughs> it's it's given the same vibe. Yeah. And, yeah, I've been looking for just, like, other shows to watch at this time of year. Yeah. And Did I know- you watch The Bachelorette this year? No. I am watching it right now. Oh, you are? Yeah, I, I know that, like, the show fully ended already, but mm-hmm. I saw, like, the finale came out. I was like, ooh, I should watch this now because, first of all, it looked super dramatic. Like, yeah. I was like, ooh, this ending doesn't look good. It, like, it wasn't good. No. I and saw that, yeah. I hate waiting week by week. So I was yeah. like, you know what? I haven't seen any spoilers up until, like, then. And I was yeah. like, even though I kind of already know what happens already, yeah. I was like, I'm just going to watch it now because now I can see how it builds up to that and I don't have to wait. Yeah. Like, it's all yeah. right here. Mm-hmm. So I think I'm on... I think the eight up eighth episode, which is like the fantasy suites episode. Yeah. It, like, it just finished it. And then there's like the woman tell all or yeah. sorry, the men tell all and then the finale. So I'm excited to be like finishing that. And I haven't yeah. watched like a bachelorette in a while. So it was a good watch. I mean, if you need nice. something to watch, there's yeah. that. But are you going to watch Dancing with the Stars when it comes out? No. Okay. Have you ever watched it? Like, no. Are you? Okay. Which is so funny because it's like I literally danced my whole life and yeah. I never really watched Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I just haven't ever watched them. I? I don't know why. I low-key like it. I started watching the show. Like, I never danced. That's not why yeah. I watched it. Yeah. Um, but I started watching it when there was somebody I really liked on it. Yeah. I honestly don't even remember who it was, but I'm like, oh, I, I want to see them, like, on the show. Yeah. Um, Might have been when Olivia Jade was on it. Oh, yeah. Because she was on it. I'm like, oh, I, I need to see her on the show, Oh, right? that's funny. I, I didn't know she was on it. I wanted to be a snoop. <laughs> so I'm like, gotta watch it. And might have been that season that I started, but yeah. it's actually, like, 
really entertaining and it comes on like every i think it's monday night yeah. so it's something cute to look forward to like oh dancing with the stars is on tonight yeah um and it's not really a show you'd want to binge anyways i watched a bit like of last season when like ariana maddox was on it yeah but i haven't ever like watched a whole season of it i don't think mm, yeah okay but yeah i definitely want to watch it yeah um this year so i'm gonna start that but that's like not really a binge like worthy sh- yeah. show at all because it comes same out. like literally yeah. me with blow deck right now because i'm still watching it but like i was watching the most recent season mm-hmm. not knowing that it was current on tv so i watched like the first oh. 10 episodes and then all of a sudden there was nothing left and i was like what the hell and you're like and i was like no. oh my god i have to finish this season weekly so now i'm like waiting weekly and it's so boring so that's why i was like i'm gonna start the bachelorette and like other shows yeah yeah in the yeah meantime. <laughs> so when in i'm the waiting meantime. the one like i'm like i can't watch one episode of tv a week no need other stuff so. yeah and like fall is a good time to like start a series and like get yeah. into it you got time you're at home they have there, there's like the classics like Gil- gilmore girls have you yeah. ever watched that? i've never watched that but i think i should this fall yeah i watched like half of it and then i like fell off of it so it's it's a very like easy watch show yeah. Yeah. um and i also watched i love i don't know why but i love emily in paris mm-hmm. have you watched it yeah it's i just, think i watched the first two seasons it's such a cute show yeah. like it's it's a very easy watch. oh my god no emotion when you're watching that show no that yeah. and that's what i like sometimes yeah. so it's just such an easy cute watch and i'm pretty sure actually today um the new episodes because they drop half and half mm. like the first half of the season was is out already and i then, hate when shows do that dude what's the point outer banks is doing that i hate that so much yeah um, so I'm going to watch the second half, but I will literally finish that in a day because yeah. it's so short and then, that's it. okay, and then well. it's ended and I'm going to be sad. Yeah. So maybe I'll pick back up Gilmore Girls because that's a very fall coded show. Totally. And also I know Gossip Girl is a big one for the fall yes. too. So since it's back on Netflix. To do. Yeah, I got a lot of watching to do. Right. So we'll see. I feel like those are like the top, like most popular fall shows. So maybe I'll get rewatching something, but yeah. Did you yeah. watch Outer Rings? I watched the first two seasons and I honestly after season three I just was like I wasn't into it anymore there's only three seasons oh well then I didn't watch season three I just watched <laughs> up until season sure. two well, I'm pretty sure it's the fourth season that's coming out I have no idea but I I didn't watch the most recent season because oh, honestly okay. I just like I was like they're taking this too far like I was just kind oh of no it's super like cheesy but yeah I'm in love with Drew Starkey so I literally have to watch it <laughs> um, like against I, my I will I need it for him no I literally <laughs> yeah. need it yeah so no I I mean I, I do enjoy the show too I'm also like obsessed with Madeline Cl- Madeline Klein I think she's just so cool yeah and pretty and I'm like I just want to watch it. Yeah, everyone on that show is honestly like I feel like in real life they're like just cool people. Yeah, so I do enjoy the show, but yeah, the storyline is a little bit wonky. It's a little bit crazy, but not even like whoa, that's crazy. It's like that's a little crazy. Yeah, it's giving like a lot of green screen. Yeah, no, that's kind of what turned me off of it. I was just like, I don't know. I was just kind of like, oh, it's so. But whenever I start one of those shows that like I watch the first few seasons and they're still pretty new into the show, like you know, there's only. But I always feel like when I start. A show that only has a few seasons and i've seen majority of them that mm-hmm. i just kind of have to keep watching it so yeah no i know I what you mean i mean maybe i will one day but i feel like it's also such a summer show yeah like i should have watched it this back in summery. june you know yeah so we'll see maybe i'll watch it next year in june and then i'll have two seasons to watch there you go oh that'll be fun <laughs> um, Jimmy, what else do you have i want to thrift more often i also put that on my list yeah, of course specifically i put it. thrift sweaters yeah because it's an indoor thing to do yeah. right it's like one of those things where well it's like your outdoor to get indoor yeah it's yeah both yeah exactly um but it's just like it's thrifting isn't like shopping it's it's more of an activity where it's like okay you could go in and you need to find it does things. feel like more of an activity it's like a treasure right? hunt it's not like oh you go to the mall everything's new right it's yeah. like you need to find the good stuff mm-hmm. so it's it is more of like a literal hobby you know yeah, you don't have to look as hard at the yeah. mall or whatever and so that's definitely on the bucket list like i just want to go and make it more of a routine like every couple of weeks go thrift because yeah. so i haven't been in a while so i feel like whenever i have a day off and i don't have anything to do i'm like well thrifting <laughs> like that's like the yeah. automatic go-to yeah because it's just fun yeah i feel like, like sometimes you find a lot of stuff sometimes you can find anything but yeah i feel like it's the best in like this time of year too yeah because like sweaters and stuff yeah and i feel like also i feel like a good time is like the start of new seasons because people do a lot of like clean outs and donate a lot of stuff yeah, starting a new so season so true mm-hmm. they're getting rid like of I, all the good when stuff. we went the other day we went on a monday so it was after a weekend mm-hmm. so i feel like I also feel like early in the week is the best time to go because people yeah. are resetting after the weekend, donating on a Sunday. Mm. And then by the time it's Monday, there's lots of good stuff. And that's so true. I never thought about that. Go on a Monday, girl. Yeah, I will. 
see you there <laughs> see you there we just like bump into each other oh what yeah. are you doing here oh, girl. oh my god we both have like our our like ice matches or tries yeah. or whatever oh, our hot what? matches <laughs> mm. for this season how much mouch how mouch <laughs> another one for mine is i think i said this in the last episode but it's to just like start a new workout routine mm, like, yeah just that also kind of goes along with like setting my intentions and goals for the season because i just want to get into a new workout regimen figure that out because like over the summer i did not work out that much i was feeling quite lazy and just like yeah. not motivated all summer mm-hmm which I feel like is normally opposite. Like, I feel like... Actually, no. I feel like I work out when I'm more into it the most in the fall mm-hmm. slash winter because it's like, what else is there to do? Yeah. And I'm not trying to get, like, a winter hibernation body. Yeah. Because like, <laughs> you got to be ready to pop out when it's nice. Yeah. When it comes around. Yeah. Um, But, yeah, definitely just trying out... Figuring out a new, like, workout routine that works for me and is more motivating. It's always good to get in a new workout routine, as yes. we already said last episode. I'm pretty sure we talked about this. Yeah. But um yeah no pilates is definitely on the agenda yes making things fun because you know working out is is majority indoor so yeah perfect time to get into it get into it get into it Uh, the last one on my list is to get a good halloween costume this year that's a good one which i've never done before Mm -hmm. so we need to dress up if it's not for anything else but this podcast episode (laughs) we at least need to do that like at least need to do that and i'll be content yes so, no that'd be so fun i can't wait that's a goal halloween is on i think a thursday this year interesting so we'd have to do it the week before yeah 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 so that way it'd be uh-huh. out for the week of halloween okay that's still that's still okay but we just have to like prep and we have we to come come up with a costume we do we do a blonde or brunette costume i don't know we'll see yeah guys let us know well let us know yeah no that's a good one i also do that i think it all the time and then i'm like Oh my god, it's Halloween. Yeah, oh my god, wait. Costume. Halloween's I, tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. Um, the last one on my list is, I mean, similar, but it's play around with like fall fashion again, aka layering, textures, colors, things like that. Yeah. I think we said that going into the summer, which I do feel like I did a decent job at, but I feel like it's it's way harder for me to play around more in the fall. So I want to like challenge myself to do that and not yeah. just, you know, wear a crew neck and jeans every day <laughs> like yeah. to try and actually layer get different jacket pieces like i almost want to get like a trench coat which is crazy that's yeah. like not me but like a really long jacket that yeah. you can put layers on like more scarves vests yeah different things like that to play around with yeah yeah and i think th- thrifting will really help with that i feel like yeah a lot of my fall pieces that'll be more unique are going to be the ones that i thrift yeah thrifting is on the horizon that's for sure yes absolutely it's the best time it is and it's just it it oh my god i'm not gonna reuse this word but <laughs> here it comes <laughs> <laughs> but it emanates fall okay yes emanation it does <laughs> i barely know what that word means but Stop. i feel like this is putting it to good use so yeah i'm expanding my vocabulary she is, she is exercising her right to say emanate today. emanate yeah promenade oh my god, i love that fallenate Fallen <laughs> Honestly, I feel like those are a good bucket list because yeah, those are pretty solid. It feels very attainable and like relatable to everyone. Yeah, relatable, attainable, and <laughs> emanatable. Emanatable. <laughs> emanatable. I'm just like pulling out like lines right now. Yeah, you are. She's you know. a one-liner queen. I know. She's a p- walking Pinterest board. Yeah, like just don't even look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, I Anywho. guess that kind of wraps it up. Do you have any last words for the fall listeners? Any last words? Oh, I did see that. Like, we had some people comment, um, like, clarifying. Because we asked last episode. We're like, oh, if you live somewhere else in the world that... Yeah. Oh, I did see that. What did they say? I want to pull it out specifically so that way I can say what they said. Because, yeah, we said, like, what's it like? Does that mean, like, you end school? Like, people who have opposite seasons. Like, if your summer's in January and December, are you off of school in January and December? Because here, are, we're off in August and July. Yes. What one did we say it on? Which is actually kind of weird. If you, like, I know it's so ingrained in our society that it's, like, we start school in September. But if you really think about it, it makes most sense to, like, go back in the new year, right? Agree. So, it makes more sense the other way. Someone said they're from Costa Rica and... They have dry and rainy season, which is December and January, but that's summer for them. And that's when their school ends and their school calendar goes accordingly to the year. So they start in February, end in December. I feel like that's pretty good. Yeah. If their summer is December, January. Yeah. No, exactly. It it makes a lot of sense. And then someone said they're from Argentina and right now it's winter, almost spring. 
they do have Christmas and summer and it's a good vibe. She's like, we go out and party till sunrise and school vacation, December, January, Christmas. And then they start in February. Yeah. What's funny is it makes sense. It's just hard to picture because obviously we're not. And also I feel like I don't see any of that. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah like e- online like everything i see on social media is everybody starting school in september i have never seen anybody be like in february and be Honestly, like that's starting so fair school me either right that's why i, I mean i'm questioning seen, it yeah i've seen people like in australia being like oh summer's coming when we're going into december yeah but i don't see people being like we're ending school exactly like i've i've no s- that's fair actually i feel yeah. like i haven't heard people talk about when they end school that so i guess that's why we've been kind of confused yeah what all adds up. Thank you guys for clarifying that for us. It makes yeah. sense. As we need clarification sometimes. Yeah, to just emanate the knowledge. good vibes, knowledge, education. Clarification. We learn something new every single day. Literally. Literally one stop. single one percent better a day. And that'll keeps eventually. the haters away. Keeps the haters away. Period. Period. And that wraps it up. And <laughs> whenever we talk like that, it's like not everybody needs a podcast. I know. <laughs> Did someone comment to that one time? They're like, uh, literally this like girl, like young girl commented and was like, not everyone needs a podcast or something like that. Okay. On one of our videos. And I replied back and I was like, girl supporting girls. Love it. Oh my I God. I literally replied back with that. And I was like, girl, you're like 14. Girl, like you're Don't already, be a hater. Like you're already, you hate, wish. you're already hating at 14. Like that is a young start girl. <laughs> and like, a girl too. Like that's such a guy thing to say. It's be like, yeah. not everyone needs a podcast. Yeah. But I'm like, a girl said that. I was like. Okay, hater energy. I mean, I'm sorry, girl, but you better you better pick up your act real quick. Turn this act around. Turn this act around. You still got time. You're only 14. <laughs> we, I actually have no idea how old she is. And we're like, she's 14. <laughs> well, if she looked really young, she because like everybody from this like new generation looks so much older, right? They so don't. maybe she was even like 10. Dead ass. <laughs> like, maybe. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So no, I think that kind of wraps it up for me yeah me too i guess i guess you know that concludes our fall bucket list which i'm just so excited for me um, too. all of the it, vibes that it's gonna bring major vibes major vibes after Spooky. i have a really hot awesome summer weekend this weekend at beach park or pool parties mm. and then i'll be back and i'll be like cookies and netflix thank you <laughs> that's all i want <laughs> Cookies, spooky, Netflix. Literally. Oh, we'll be on track. Scary movies. Oh my gosh, I'm actually really excited. Cozy blanket. We have scary, a couple scary movies on the fall list. Yes, we do. Specifically in October because I won't watch scary movies by myself. So that, that'll force me to. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, well, ah. thank you guys so much, as always, for tuning in and supporting. And we will see you next week with another episode. Yes, we will be back next week. We love, love you guys. You. Bye. Bye.